I was introduced into the sport um, at Frederick National Little League by my good friend's father, Harlan DeGrange, who uh, didn't have any um, coaches and he just asked me if I wanted to come and throw batting practice, hit grounders, uh, keep the scorebook. At 14 years old and I said, sure, I'll do it. And pretty much I just stayed, stayed there for the next 30 some years. Seven years I was the assistant coach and then I took over at 21 as manager of the Lions in Frederick National and I coached another 38 years during that, so a total of 45 years. Baseball people don't know I've been coaching basketball 25 years. I coached um, eighth grade girls basketball at Minoxi Middle School. Last night one of my basketball girls, was we were at a game and, and her mother says, uh, Coach Danny made the Hall of Fame and she goes, how? <laughs> she didn't know I was a baseball coach. One of my most notable memories of coaching there was uh, probably winning our nine and 10 year old state championship. Uh, the only state championship I've won. I've had a lot of close misses, but that was probably the most uh, exciting because we went 15 and 0 and it was a special group of players on that nine and 10 team. Probably one of my biggest obstacles was at first learning the game of baseball as a to be a coach. You know, I didn't play past youth league much. So I had to, over the years had to learn how to, you know, to teach the game of baseball to the young people and and you know, it was a tough for a while, you know. I learned a lot from asking experienced people like um, Raleigh Atkinson, I uh, was a really great little league manager. Um, Ike Roderick was another one. Um, Paul Merrill was in the Bay Ruth League, was probably the best baseball coach around here. Uh, getting advice from them, um, and, and Gene Rose, who just recently passed away, I was another one. All those guys taught me, you know, the little thing, not just coaching baseball, but just how to, to deal with everything as being a coach. You know, I wouldn't be able to do it as long as I did if I didn't have the help that I did. I mean, I've had some great coaches that have, that have helped me along the line. Um, Long-time coaches, many of them, but uh, you know, especially uh, Ty Smallwood, who's been with me for a long time. Uh, the late Dave Fogel, who people in Frederick all know who he was. He was a great help to me, and and then recently uh, Dale Wassler, who's been with me more than 10 years. So those three guys have really have been with me for a long time, and they've been a big help to me to continue to coaching. The advice that I would give most young people nowadays is just, just to keep working hard and have fun, enjoy what you're doing, and you know, don't ever give up. Just keep playing hard and, and you'll get better. To be inducted into the Hall of Fame is a pretty special honor, I think. You know, it, it tells me that I was recognized that I did something well in Frederick County and um, th there's so many people uh, that I know and there's so many great athletes in that Hall of Fame and just, it's just special to probably be involved with that group for now on. It's a, a great honor.